Blank Darling here with Darling Data, <coughs> and um, I've made another gain adjustment that I, I think will solve all of my problems. I'm recording one more video today because I have a fetish for making my wife nervous about being late for things. That worked on too many levels. Uh, but anyway, uh, hopefully, hopefully the audio is completely kink-free this time. <laughs> only thing around here that would be kink free uh but you know a, a lot of work does go into figuring out how to get things exactly right for these recordings and uh, uh these are a lot of test runs and i appreciate all the feedback and stuff that i got just to give you an idea of sort of how complicated sometimes things can get uh, i'm going to bring up a, a windows explorer window on my on my desktop y'all can't see it but if i bring it up on the screen uh, all of a sudden i start to get a bunch of distortion down here because of the extra light from having another white window up. But as soon as I minimize it, uh, the distortion clears up. So <laughs> a lot goes into this that, uh, I don't know, maybe not everyone appreciates the amount, <laughs> just how much tinkering and weirdness you have to uh, deal with. But anyway, um, we talked about computed columns a little bit. So now I want to talk about filtered indexes a little bit because the two things often um, uh, solve a lot of problems that uh, either traditional uh, columns are not, not having a column at all and not filtering data uh, in your indexes uh, can, and whatever. I forgot where I was going with that. I uh, lost my train of thought because um, I, was, I thought of one other thing that uh, my bathroom, you, you obviously can't see it because it's not that, kind of, not that kind of show, but if I leave my bathroom light on, which is across the way, uh, it also creates a bunch of distortion behind me. So very delicate setup over here. <laughs> Everything has to be just right. Moon has to be in Pisces. Mars has to be in Pluto. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to leave other planets out of this one. Anyway, uh, let's create an index because that's what we do. We create indexes. This is a filtered index. This index has a filter where reputation is greater than 100,000. Uh, and that will give us some magical superpowers to find uh, all the really important users in the user's database. Uh, Stack Overflow helpfully tracks our reputation, among other things, depending on uh, which cookies you allow them to set. And uh, let's run this query, which looks like a pretty simple query. And it looks like a good candidate to use our filtered index. And, and it is. We look at the, go over and look at the execution plan. We actually do use our, our index over here. But uh, because this plan uh, is sim simply parameterized, uh, SQL Server throws us an erroneous error, and it tells us that we uh, have, there's a warning involved here, red skies at night, we have an unmatched index. This, this, this warning typically shows up when uh, you have a query that uses a parameter, uh, not, it's not simple parameterized, like in a store procedure or dynamic SQL that is parameterized. And this warning will show up if you have a parameter where you could have used a filtered index because uh, queries that use parameters can't use filtered indexes because uh, the parameterized execution plan has to be safe for any value that gets passed into that parameter. And depending on the filter definition, you may uh, never have, you may pass in a value for one iteration of the query that's perfectly safe to use a filtered index. And then another time you may use a, uh, a parameter value that is unsafe, <coughs> excuse me, to use for the filtered index. A good example is a bit column. So let's say you have an is deleted column. Uh, you typically search for uh, values in that column that are not deleted. So is deleted equals zero. And then you have a store procedure that runs. Uh, the search for is deleted is a parameter, and you might look for deleted. You might look for uh, undeleted or not deleted. <laughs> not undeleted. Undeleted would be three, and that would break your bit completely. Uh, and so you have, like, you might not be able to use a filtered index for every outcome of that parameter value. So that's, that sucks. And uh, this is another reason why uh, I end up using this one equals select one thing over here. This is just enough. Um, just enough uh, gusto for SQL Server to not simple parameterize uh, the query. Uh, the reason why this query gets um, or is attempted to be simple parameterized is, uh, well, stupid. So let's not, let's not get into that. It's a bad, it's a bad idea.
So if we run this query, uh, and it wouldn't matter much if we uh, did this for uh, one zero 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 or one zero 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 one. Uh, now uh, we no longer have that warning over here, and our index gets used magnificently, wonderfully. All is well in the world. But if we change that back to uh, one hundred thousand and one, or we search for a range of values. Uh, within that reputation column, uh, SQL Server will um, only sort of use our filtered index. In this query, where we just searched for that whole greater than equal to predicate uh, up here, SQL oh ah, I lost my lost my finger again. Uh, if we search for this, or we search for this range of values that are helpfully hidden by my giant head. Uh, SQL Server scans the clustered index for the first query uh, and uses our clustered index a little bit for the second query. But in the second query plan, we actually have a lookup back to the clustered index. And that lookup is figuring out which reputation values are less than 100,999. The reason for that is because when we created our filtered index way up here, the only thing we did was tell SQL Server that all the values in this reputation field are greater than or equal to 100,000. We did not uh, put the reputation column into the index so that SQL Server had all of the like literal values that are stored in this column available to it in the index. So what happens is SQL Server knows that it can locate however many rows for this query that qualify for 100,000 by, uh, by scanning, or I forget what it was, uh, sc scanning the uh, filtered index that we created, and then doing a lookup back to the clustered index where the reputation column is stored to evaluate the second half of our predicate, the second half of our where clause, uh, to figure out where reputation is greater than 100,999. So let's recreate our index a little bit, and uh, let's see what happens when we run some of these queries again. So all three of these. Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Did I change that down here? I didn't. Let's let's fix that and let's fix that in the demo. One, two, three, nine, nine, nine. There we go. I knew I forgot to do something earlier. Alright, let's do that again. All three of these. We scan our filtered index here, which is fine, because Every row in here is going to qualify for it. SQL Server knows that every single row in this index is greater than or equal to 100,000 up here. So it doesn't have, it, there's nothing to seek to. There's no point in seeking to these 600 something rows because it knows every single row in here is going to qualify for that predicate. Right? There's not even a predicate here. If you look at if you look at the details of the tooltip, there's not even a predicate applied because the predicate is sort of implicit in the fact that every like our filter definition is our exact where clause here. So SQL Server is just like nope, just scan it, 600 rows, who cares? For the second query, where we look for greater than or equal to 100,001, we do indeed get an index seek and we find every single row in there. <laughs> These both return 613 rows, but uh, the slight tweak to the predicate up here. So SQL Server says, ooh, I can seek now, which, um, I don't know, take it or leave it. <laughs> it is what it is for 600 rows. Uh, so if, you have, if you have performance problems with a 600-row scan, you have much, much bigger problems in your life. I promise you that. <clears throat> And then, of course, for the final query, uh, we do get another index seek. And this evaluates just one seek predicate. And since our starting predicate was, uh, would, would qualify the entire contents of the index for the starting point of the where clause, the only predicate we have to look for is where this one is less than 100,999. Of course, if we change this uh, to look like our query above, where we look for 100,001. SQL Server would seek completely to all of those values, and we would apply both sides of the predicate. Because the first half of the predicate now doesn't exactly match 
the where clause of our filtered index. This still leaves us with kind of a, what I think is sort of a weird um, downside to filtered indexes. And that is, if I'm looking for the max reputation value in the users table, uh, SQL Server ought to know that it could use the filtered index because the max reputation is going to be over a hundred thousand, right? Uh, it's going to be included in that, like that, like that low water that that watermark in the in the in the data. But if we go and run these, SQL Server says no, not really. Uh, can't figure that out. Got to have a clustered index scan up here. We scan the entire thing. But of course, if we ask for the max value where it's greater than or equal to 100,000, we go back to using our filtered index. Then I sort of get it, you know, uh, like, you know, if we deleted a bunch of stuff from our table or, you know, we artificially reduced everyone's reputation to some super low value or something, cut everyone in half or something like that, then that there might be no data in that filtered index. That plan might not be safe to reuse. But you would think that if we made enough changes like that to the table, then the stats update would say, or the, the, uh, statistic, the, the, statistic, the statistics modification uh, counter would uh, get a new plan created, but anyway, I don't know. It's complicated. It seems like one of those things that would just happen for you. Like the max values have to be in this chunk, but you know, always and never. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, uh, the, all again, all the kinks are out of the audio this time around. Uh, if not, I give up. I quit. I'm throwing throwing away all my computers. I'm gonna go collect rocks. Live in the mountains eat varmint, stuff like that, regrow my full beard. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you in another video. Not today, though, because now, now, now I might actually be late.